time you are going to look at the venous range of the heart more details. Actually, you have seen some details, but more details. You will see that there is a small cardiac vein, there is a great cardiac vein, there was a middle cardiac vein or draining into coronary sinus and coronary sinus draining into posterior wall of the right atrium. This is the discussion. So, there is a small cardiac vein, great cardiac vein, middle cardiac vein, draining coronary sinus draining into the posterior wall of the right atrium. Yes, coronary sinus draining into posterior wall of right atrium. Let's do that. If you remember, we have discussed that there is a great cardiac vein and it is running in the AIVG with AIVA. This great cardiac vein, yes, great cardiac vein is running in the AIVG with AIVA, anterior to the heart. So this is great cardiac vein which is running with AIVA in the AIVG means anterior intervertebral artery in the anterior intervertebral groove, yes, anteriorly. And then this vein will go circumferentially around the heart. So as this vein is going circumferentially around the heart, where is it going? It is going behind the heart to drain into the left end of the coronary sinus. It is draining into left end of this coronary sinus here. Yes, that is the coronary sinus. That is the coronary sinus and it is uh, on the posterior side in the coronary sulcus and it is receiving the great cardiac vein. Then what are the small cardiac veins? Small cardiac vein we have discussed earlier also and we can see that this is the small cardiac vein. I think small cardiac vein is also going uh, to drain into the coronary sinus. Yes, it is. Even small cardiac vein is going to drain into coronary sinus behind the heart, posterior to the heart. And small cardiac vein is a continuation of, small cardiac vein is continuation of this right marginal vein, right sided marginal vein, continue as the small cardiac vein. And this small cardiac vein is going to drain into coronary sinus on the posterior aspect of the heart into coronary sinus. And there's one more, which one? If you remember, we have discussed that was the middle cardiac vein. And what about the middle cardiac vein? Middle cardiac vein was uh, running in the PIVG with PIVA. You mean to say posteriorly? Yes, it was. Middle cardiac vein, which was in the posterior intervertical groove along with the posterior intervertical artery. And where is it draining? Into coronary sinus. And where is the coronary sinus draining? Coronary sinus, of course, it will be draining into the posterior wall of the right atrium right atrium there is there are some veins which are called as anterior cardiac veins and they do not drain to coronary sinus they drain directly into right atrial anterior wall so telling that anterior cardiac vein drain to anterior wall of the right atrium yes not the coronary sinus the anterior cardiac veins they drain into the anterior wall of the right atrium and not into the coronary sinus. They drain directly into the right atrium, not into coronary sinus. This comes as a question. Now, let us look at the venous drainage of the heart from the posterior side also, which is a diagram which we are supposed to draw. But before you draw the diagram, you see this is the coronary sinus, where? In the coronary sulcus, yeah, where? On the posterior side of the heart. If you say this is the coronary sinus in the posterior part of the coronary sulcus, then fine. I think it is opening into the posterior wall of the right atrium now. Yes, posterior wall of the right atrium, it will drain. But who is draining into the coronary sinus? Who is draining into coronary sinus? You can see here, this is one vein which came from the right side. Which vein come from the right side? The small cardiac vein. And which vein came from the left side? That you remember, the great cardiac vein. So great cardiac vein which was running anteriorly there, yes, and come posteriorly now, yes. Actually, when it was running anteriorly, it was uh, in the AIVG along with the AIV, and then it comes circumferentially posterior to enter the left end of the coronary sinus. It will enter the left end of coronary sinus. And there was one more vein which is uh, here and it is called as the middle cardiac vein. And uh, where is middle cardiac vein present? Middle cardiac vein is uh, present in the PIVG with the PIVA. What that means? See, this is... Uh, Posterior intervertical groove with the posterior artery, but the vein is following. 
we mean to say middle cardiac vein follow the PIVA and the PIVG so that it will further drain into the coronary sinus there. Yes, that is the point. Okay, if that is the point, let us draw the diagram. Let us draw the diagram. We are now looking at the posterior view of the heart and see the four chambers. So when you look at the posterior view of the heart and four chambers, what are the four chambers? You see here, this is the posterior view of the heart and we'll talk about the four chambers. Yeah, which four chambers are there? First of all, you have to tell this is the coronary sulcus. What is coronary sulcus? Coronary sulcus is the other name for AV groove. AV groove, you mean to say atrioventricular groove. Why would you say it is AV groove? Because it is separating atria from ventricle, atria from ventricle. So, which atria, which ventricle? See, you are looking from the posterior view, isn't it? Yes. Then it must be left atrium, left ventricle. And right atrium, right ventricle. Oh, you are telling coronary sulcus has two parts? Yes, it has two parts. If it is here, it is called as a left part of coronary sulcus or the left AV groove separating left atrium from left ventricle. And if it is on the right side, then you will say this is the right side of coronary sulcus or it is called the right-sided AV groove. So this is the right coronary sulcus now. Yes, that is the right coronary sulcus. Separating the right atria from right ventricle, right AV groove. Okay, you are telling the atria are more superior. Yes, atria are more superior and ventricles are more inferior. So ventricles are more inferior and the atria are more superior. Is that so? Yes, that is what. Okay. How do I separate the atria? If you want to separate the atria, then you will have interatrial septum. And uh, what about the interatrial septum? See, interatrial septum is dividing right atrium from the left atrium. Do you know that we are uh, having four opening into the left atrium called as the pulmonary veins? Yes, I know. There are four pulmonary veins which are opening to the left atrium. And what is opening into the right atrium? Three opening. Uh, what are the three openings? What we have seen is that there is opening of the superior vena cava and then there is opening of the inferior vena cava and then there is opening of the coronary sinus. And where is coronary sinus? See, this is uh, right atrium because of that it is receiving superior vena cava from above and uh, inferior vena cava from below. And, and on more sinus actually it is here. Now as you see this is the coronary sinus in the coronary sulcus posteriorly. If you say this is the coronary sinus in the coronary sulcus posteriorly, what is it doing? This coronary sinus receives the venous blood of heart and drain into posterior wall of right atrium, posterior wall of right atrium. So this coronary sinus which is uh, and the coronary sulcus posteriorly is draining the heart into posterior on the right atrium now? Yes. And who else is draining into coronary sinus? That will find out, but first you tell. This is left atrium and this is the right atrium and together both the atria will form the base of the heart or posterior surface of the heart. So who is forming base of the heart or posterior surface of the heart? It is basically left atrium plus minor contribution by right atrium. That is what? So telling that these two chambers, which is left atrium plus right atrium, they are forming the base or posterior surface of the heart. Yes, that is the point. Then what about the inferior diaphragmatic surface? If you want to discuss inferior diaphragmatic surface, then you have to draw a line which is separating the two ventricles. You mean to say interventricular septum? Yes, interventricular septum, that is the location. So this is interventricular septum which is separating the right ventricle from the left ventricle. Yes, separating the right ventricle from left ventricle. This is interventricular septum. And what about that? See, we have told left ventricle and the right ventricle both are related to the diaphragm. So both of them contribute to inferior diaphragmatic surface. Now when you say it is the inferior and it is the diaphragmatic surface, inferior and diaphragmatic surface, I think it is uh, mainly left ventricle, partly right ventricle. Yes, mainly left ventricle here and uh, partly it is the right ventricle there. And what is between the two? Interventricular septum. What is on the interventricular septum? 
interventricular groove which interventricular groove and that is called as posterior interventricular groove with the posterior interventricular artery so here we will have the posterior interventricular groove and having the posterior interventricular artery supplying the posterior one third of interventricular septum that is the point here so you are mentioning that uh, there will be a PIVA in the PIVG supplying the posterior one third of interventricular septum there. Yeah, that's the point. That is what we wanted to see. Now you remember there was a great cardiac vein. This is the great cardiac vein. So where is the great cardiac vein coming from? The left side into left coronary sulcus and then enter the left end of the coronary sinus. So you are mentioning that there is some great cardiac vein which is coming from the left side in the left coronary sulcus and then it is entering the left end of the coronary sinus. Yes, yeah, similarly you had the other one. Who is that? You remember small cardiac vein? It came here and enters there. So you are telling now that there is a small cardiac vein which came from the right side. Yes, this small cardiac vein comes from the right side. It is in the right part of the coronary sulcus. Right coronary sulcus. So small cardiac vein is uh, small cardiac vein is coming from the right side and running through the right end of the corner sinus. Yes, and there is one middle cardiac vein also. Middle cardiac vein. And what about the middle cardiac vein? The middle cardiac vein is uh, draining on the posterior view of the heart in the Posterior interventricular groove and then it is accompanying the posterior interventricular artery and then drain into the coronary sinus. That's the point. So this is uh, middle cardiac vein. Yes, following the posterior interventricular artery. Yes, and draining into the coronary sinus. Yes, and where the coronary sinus is draining. Coronary sinus has received all this blood and uh, then it was draining into posterior wall of the right atrium. That is where it is draining. With all that orientation you can look at this question tell me what is the answer actually the great cardiac vein is seen on the anterior side of the heart and also posterior of the heart can you tell me when it was anterior on the heart in which groove it was running that will help you get the answer oh great cardiac vein running on the anterior side posterior side yeah you have just seen that when it is running on the posterior side it was actually running in the left part of coronary sulcus but uh, when it is running anteriorly it was running in are you talking about anterior interventricular groove with anterior interventricular artery yes that's a point here see it was in the anterior interventricular groove along with the anterior interventricular artery and then where it will go then we'll go towards the left uh, coronary sulcus and go behind the heart to drain to coronary sinus. We will see that is first running in AIVG. Then who is running in the PIVG? PIVG is uh, having the PIVA and along with the PIVA is a vein posteriorly. Which vein? You remember it was the middle cardiac vein. Middle cardiac vein. So it is the middle cardiac vein which is accompanying the PIV and the PIVG? Yes, if you remember. And uh, we'll keep our answer as AIVG. Yes. Where you have AIVA? Yes. And along with that, you have great cardiac vein? Yes. Anterior to the heart. Okay. What about this question? It is asking a vein is accompanying the PIVA. That you already have answered. What? Who was that? PIVA in the PIVG followed by, you mean to say, middle cardiac vein? Yes, that is the answer, middle cardiac vein. Okay.